Making Ethical Decisions and Taking Action, Kosher Gerald et al. Chapter 2 for Psychologists. According to Babad and Salomon, 1978, ethical conflicts can be optimized and its harm could be reduced due to having sufficient time, properly recognizing the entity or person's allegiances, including relevant parties, reducing stress, maintaining objective mindsets, and utilizing ongoing evaluation, which allows for changes to be made midway. Knowing relevant codes of conduct are not enough to prevent ethical dilemmas from happening since the codes are themselves prescriptive guideposts that have gaps and may be vague or general about certain actions. To bring about specificity in action, professionals must internalize clear decision-making strategies to reduce an issue's impact. It is emphasized that one should consult, reflect, and document when possible. Adapted from Haz and Maluf 1989, Hansen and Goldberg 1999, Tim Chuck 1981, Kosher et al. created an ethical decision making model as follows. 1. Determine if the issue is an ethical dilemma. This involves identifying ethical principles that may be affected or breached in the certain circumstances. Read through the guidelines for the application of possible resolutions. This is a process of collecting relevant info, considering the consequences and remembering the laws one must abide by, such as rights to confidentiality and mandatory reporting, for example. Consider the factors that would influence your decision. Persist in introspection to recognize possible personal biases, as well as clients' own appearances, social statuses, and affiliations or others which could impact on your ability to make ethical choices this could include one's own personality moral or religious principles values personal goals responsibilities culturally relevant variables etc which can influence decision fourthly consult with peers in the profession who you trust decide on consultants in advance who are sensitive to ethical matters, have strong commitment and are honest. Remember to seek a second opinion before deciding on an action. Evaluate rights, responsibilities and vulnerabilities of parties involved, which includes the organization and the public. Bad choices could lead to breaking stakeholders' informed consent, confidentiality and evaluative feedback. Create alternative divisions. Consider all options on the table and use a process of elimination in those that are too risky, expensive, or not ethical. 7. Consider the consequences of every decision. Reflect on all the social, psychological, financial, short slash long term, legal, ethical ramifications which may benefit or violate the various stakeholders. And finally, make a decision since the right action needs to be supported by the best reason, according to Rachel's 1980. In summary, ethical decision making depends on continual reflection, introspection, weighing up of consequences, and considering the rights and possible impacts on all stakeholders affected. In this way, ethical decisions can be made which preserve the integrity, respect, and propriety of the profession. Thanks for watching.